It's the question with an answer that eludes so many of us. Why do some posts go viral with engagement while others wither off and die without so much as a few likes? The good news is that Facebook's new algorithm isn't as much of a black box anymore. Facebook has slowly leaked how it ranks and prioritizes content in news feeds. Here's four tips on how to increase the life cycle of your Facebook content. Number one, what is the new Facebook algorithm? The Facebook algorithm ranks all available posts that can display on a user's news feed based on how likely it is that that user will have a positive reaction to the post. It now ranks and prioritizes content posted from friends over publishers, with a focus on what the algorithm determines as meaningful interactions, with response to feedback from individual user surveys also playing a role in what they see and don't see. Facebook's algorithm for ranking content on your newsfeed is based on four factors. The inventory of all posts available to display, signals that tell Facebook what each post is, predictions on how you will react to each post, and a final score assigned to the content based on all the factors considered. Number two, Facebook newsfeed algorithm changes since 2018. Meaningful interactions. Since the data controversy erupted around the social network in late 2017, Facebook has worked to improve transparency around how it ranks content on the newsfeed, going public with their Meaningful Interactions update back in January 2018. In Mark Zuckerberg's personal post regarding these changes, he shared that posts and news is shared more from groups and friends, making alterations on the way content is distributed on the website. In short, Facebook called on brands to create high-interest content that followers would feel compelled to actually engage with, content that deserves space in their busy news feed. Spam and misleading information penalizes pages. The new Facebook algorithm is also better than ever at recognizing biased content. In an effort to curb misleading health claims as well as falsely advertised medical products, They've made the algorithm even better at detecting spammy or clickbait titles. Pages that share content Facebook labels, clickbait, will find themselves penalized within the algorithm, resulting in reduced distribution within the news feed. However, once the offender stops posting this kind of content, their posts will no longer be penalized. Number 3. How the Facebook algorithm works in 2021. The goal of Facebook's algorithm is to show stories that matter to users, according to Adam Masseri, or VP of Facebook's newsfeed management. Here are the four factors that determine if a story is relevant for a user's newsfeed. Number one, inventory. Inventory represents the stock of all content that can be displayed to a user on Facebook's newsfeed, which fluctuates based on user activity once scrolling has begun. This includes everything posted from friends and publishers. Number two, signals. Signals represent the information that Facebook can gather about a piece of content. Signals are the single factor that you have control over. These are your inputs that Facebook interprets. Type of content, the publisher, its age, purpose, and more. Number three, predictions. Predictions represent the behavior of a user and how likely they are predicted to have a positive interaction with a content piece. And number four, relevancy score. Relevancy score is the final number assigned to a piece of content based on the likelihood the user will respond positively to it. Number four, five best practices that can make your content more meaningful. Here are some guidelines on keeping your content meaningful in Facebook's eyes. Number one, be a conversation starter. Facebook's newsfeed algorithm favors content that fosters positive interactions between your followers and others. Any piece of content from products to education to entertainment should provoke conversation. You want your content to prompt people to stop their scroll, interact, and share with one another. Number two, focus on your audience. Your content should always be relevant to your core audience, the people you want to build a community around. Products, education, lifestyle imagery, it should all build on your identity as a brand answering to a specific audience. Number three, put ad dollars behind content with organic momentum. 
The new Facebook algorithm values content that performs well organically, and you can build off that momentum by boosting or promoting that content with ad dollars. Content that already has a strong organic traction means lower CPCs, which combined with ad dollars can act as a snowball effect for your content. Number four, avoid clickbait. Remember all of those like if and share if you are posts? This is considered engagement baiting, and it doesn't add value or interaction for users. Lastly, number five, track your content performance. After you've published your content, remember to use Facebook Insights to track the performance of your content. Keep track of how your different content pieces are performing engagement-wise. Learn from your insights data and then optimize from there.